you don't rush decisions like this. If you rush decisions like this, you make a mistake. What we're making sure is that we have all the information to know if we do something, what will happen, how will it happen, and will it hurt anyone? All right. Uh, well, no, we can fault the administration for rushing anything right now in a decidedly different tack and tone uh, this year rather than last year when it uh, centralized its attack on one Syrian air base from which a lot of these chemical attacks were supposedly being launched. We're told right now that it is working in coordination with others. We don't know whether those others, presumably countries that would be working with us, uh, are part of a grander plan here. Fox News Channel's Mike Tobin with more. Mike. As your graphic mentioned there, the uh, carrier group uh, from the USS Harry S. Truman is currently steaming across the Atlantic. The warships left uh, Norfolk on Wednesday and are headed to the region. They will join the guided uh, missile cruiser USS Donald Cook, which is already in the Mediterranean Sea, with, among other things, a complement of 75 Tomahawk cruise missiles on board. All of that backed up by a French frigate and British submarines. And don't forget all of the aircraft the U.S. already has in the region in places like Doha. Another Russian warship, the landing ship Nikolai, Nikolai Filchenkov, was seen today entering the Mediterranean Sea through Turkey. Satellites have spotted at least 11 Russian warships oper operating out of the Syrian port of Tartus. And it comes at a time when Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, is saying with certainty there was indeed a chemical attack in the Syrian town of Dubai. Duma, that attack effectively crushed the last of the anti-Assad opposition forces. However, Russia's denial of that chemical attack keeps taking on a new narrative. Yesterday, they said the first responder group called the White Helmet staged and filmed the attack. Today, Russia said the British government was behind the staging of that attack. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says he has evidence. We have irrefutable information that it was another fabrication and intelligence agencies of a state that is now striving to spearhead a Russophobic campaign who were involved in that fabrication. Adding to the tension, Israel today said an Iranian drone shot down last February over Israel was carrying explosives and headed to hit something inside of the Jewish state. Syria, Iran, Russia, all, uh, all allies inside of Syria further complicating the situation here. Neil? Mike Tobin, thank you very much, my friend.